retinal detachment occurs due to a tear or break formation. Through the break, the fluid collects into the subretinal space leading to a detachment. The classic surgery to treat this condition is buckling surgery and requires the insertion of a plomb to indent the break. Traditionally, this procedure is carried out using an indirect ophthalmoscope and a 20 diopter lens which can be quite cumbersome ergonomically. Buckling surgery is on the decline over the recent times while on the other hand vitrectomy is gaining popularity. This is because of the extensive advances in instrumentation and wide field viewing systems which have popularized its use. Using these wide field lenses the overall view of the fundus while doing vitrectomy is excellent and much better than that of indirect ophthalmoscopy. Also, chandelier illumination has revolutionized the illumination and provides a bright, uniformly spread light for the wide field of view. Hence, we decided to combine the advantages of wide field visualization and chandelier illumination to do classical buckling surgery without using indirect ophthalmoscopy. After tagging the muscles, the chandelier light is inserted in the inferotemporal quadrant and a self-retaining contact wide field lens is placed on the cornea. Once the fundus view appears, peripheral indentation can be carried out to locate the breaks and do cryopexy to them. External localization of the break is done and sutures are taken to pass the plomb. Subretinal fluid drainage is planned and external diathermy is applied at the proposed site. SRF is gradually drained by giving gentle pressure posteriorly. Fundus is checked to assure a complete drainage and also to rule out any bleeding. Overall periphery is checked, external sutures are taken and at this stage a good buckle effect with flat retina is appreciated. In another case, having a myopic RD, a similar approach is carried out. The breaks are identified and cryopexy is done. External drainage is carried out. Adequate buckle effect is seen with all the tears well indented. The retina was well settled post-operatively. However, the patient developed a re-detachment after a month and a vitrectomy was undertaken. On table, the site of previous tears were assessed and they seemed to be well indented by the buccal effect. A thorough vitrectomy was carried out and no other break was noted. This was followed by air fluid exchange and at this stage the fluid started draining from a macular hole. It could have been a missed break from previous surgery or could have formed as a secondary break following the same. 
after drainage a good flattening of retina was noted thus by using a wide field contact lens and chandelier illumination one can get a great overall view of the fundus to carry out all the steps of buckling surgery Another advantage with this technique is a zooming capability which is not possible with indirect ophthalmoscopy. It also has a postural advantage. Indirect ophthalmoscopy leads to a lot of neck and lower back ailments for surgeons in the long run. On the other hand, operating through the microscope is a lot more comfortable ergonomically. Moreover, This technique allows a better teaching capability. The wide field view allows easy and clear transmission to a monitor in the OT as well as recording capability and thus would go a long way in teaching an otherwise dying art.